be very, very quiet. I'm hunting zombies. <laughs> anyway, super helpful. Really good guy. Greetings, fellow oculators. Dave Drawing here. Today we're going to talk about gun controllers. No, no, not gun control. Gun controllers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a touchy subject still, even though it has nothing to do with real guns. People play shooters. Uh, all kinds of video games where you shoot things. Shoot people. Shoot whatever. But some people are not satisfied to just shoot with these controllers. Oh no, they want controllers that look and feel like real guns. The debate rages on. I have never tried one. I play a lot of different shooting games, first person shooters and zombie shooters and uh, you know, whatever kind of shooters, military shooters, uh, sniper shooters, but I've never tried uh, the controllers that, that uh, turn your or the covers that turn your regular controllers into more realistic looking and feeling guns. So, today we're going to find out what that's all about. Uh, opinions vary, but, uh, you know, my opinion is we're just going to try it and see what happens. Anyway, the people at Alroy make this uh, controller cover. Let me move this out of the way here. And comes in a bunch of pieces. We've got this piece. And we got this piece. And of course we've got the other two pieces because it is a set. Comes with both. I'll put those aside for right now. And then we get a whole little bag of goodies. And one more tiny little bag of other goodies. All right. It does not come with any instructions, but if you go to the listing on Amazon, uh, they're pretty full set of instructions there. I've got all the pieces all separated out. I've got just the pieces for one controller. But remember, there are two full sets, one for each controller. But I'm just trying to keep it a little more simple. We have the barrel part. We have the hand grip part. We have the wrist strap, which is really nice. It's a lot thicker than the original. Got the little adjuster. And, and uh, yeah, that's a nice looking wrist strap. And this fancy Dan knuckle strap that will actually hold the controller on your hand if you let go of it. So you're less likely to accidentally throw your controller across the room. This kit even comes with the little joystick cover. The little silicone cover that goes over your joystick. Uh, the, <laughs> that's pretty thorough thinking there. All right, I'll tell you. Okay, now, another thing I should mention is while the gun parts themselves come only in black. The uh, other accessories that go with it, including the little joystick cover and the knuckle strap and the wrist strap, come in four different colors. They come in black, white, red, and blue. So, you know, if you had different teams or whatever, or you just like to be able to tell each other's accessories apart, you get red ones and blue ones, or you get black and white. Or... <laughs> the way this works, <laughs> again, trying to remember the instructions that I looked at, I don't have any to toss because they didn't send any, but <laughs> now we're going to put this thing together. First thing you want to do is take your battery cover off. Then you take your original uh, wrist strap out, and if you haven't done it before, it comes out real easy, just like that. See, it has a little uh, flat on one end and, and angled on the other. You want the angle part, you know, sticking out. Just like that, if you want to put it back together. Now, do hang on to these, because you never know when you might need them again. So, just put those aside. And now, this is where it gets a little tricky. The instructions on the listing aren't complete. So, you, you want to watch this part. because it's. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself, but let me figure it out, and then you don't have to. First, you want to take the two straps, the wrist strap 
and the uh, knuckle strap. And if you look at the end of the knuckle strap, you'll see that it's got a little knob on the end. That's what goes back into your controller to hold hold it on. Then there's you see there's a little tab with a little hole in it right there. What you want to do is take your, your wrist strap, and it's got a little string loop on it. Uh, you've probably seen this kind of a connection before, like with a cell phone or whatever. you got to wind that up so it's a little small as you can make it. And then you just thread it through that hole. It's like threading the needle. And then you pass the entire uh, wrist strap back through that loop like this. All the parts have to go through. And then it's on there, see? No problemo. Then you take this part. It's crazy here. Um, with the battery cover still off of your controller, you take the pistol grip part of the gun, and you stick this little part with the knob <laughs> through that handle. You can pull it through uh, a little bit, you know, like about that far. It's not going to stay there, but you want to get a little bit of this knob part. Uh, protruding because that has to go into the control. So anyway, the idea is to get that little knob on the end into this, the holder in the controller. And then you want it to basically when it comes around, you want the buckle on, on the outside, like you see it there. Okay? Alright. Now, almost got out of step there, you get the battery cover, you put it back on, and that'll keep that from coming out. Alright? Then you can place this here. Now it doesn't hold it there yet. You can just put it in position because what you have to do now is get your uh, wrist or your uh, knuckle strap set. So we've got it attached to the base like that. Okay, it goes around, but it doesn't go in the. You hold it like this. It doesn't go up and around it in the ring. Oh no, that would be too simple. It goes it goes up through the ring, and the inside of the ring like this, and then it comes back like down the outside, like that. So, you put the end through the little buckle, just like a watch band, and I would just pull it, I would just pull it until it clicks in there two times. You get the first two little bumps of the strap into the buckle, and it's got a little, a little holder down here, just like a watch band, okay? I would leave it like that until you know what size it's going to have to be. Like that doesn't hold on there just yet. So you get this all together, where you got your strap in place. It's all ready to come together. And now your barrel part, your handle part, and this is the last complicated bit. I, I assure you. you, you don't want to keep the controller all the way in it like this. You tilt it back, or you can actually let it dangle. It doesn't really matter. And what you have to do is put this together first. Now, it's interesting, if, if anybody knows about real guns, this looks like it has a, a spot in the bottom for a magazine to go in, which is interesting since it's a revolver. But on the side, there's like a magazine release button. It's actually a, a truly spring-loaded button that moves a little mechanism inside that lets it latch into the holes on this part. It's a complicated bit of engineering, but... Anyway, on the front, or, or sorry, on the back, there's a little tab here. And what you have to do is look at the corresponding slot here. You put it in all the way to the bottom like that. See how it's at an angle. Then you push that button and push the front down. And uh, you have to just move it down. You'll hear that sharp click you heard. That's it engaging. So... That won't come loose again until you push that button. Now, it's not something you use while you're playing with it. That's actually to disassemble the thing. But that button is what you use to take it back apart. So, that's all in one piece now. Then, you take the controller, make sure it's set in the bottom. And as I've learned, you make sure that the uh, the strap is pulled all the way out, because otherwise it'll, it won't let it go in far enough. Get it all the way like that, and you'll see that it's not all the way into where it needs to be yet. So you kind of pry up a little bit and there's a little small, let's see if you can see it. Hmm. <laughs> right in here, there's a little a little hook like, like this shape that hooks into the leading edge of the, 
a ring on your controller. So basically, you get it all, all down in there, hold it like this, and then kind of pry forward a little, just slightly on the gun barrel, and that will pop right in there. And then, and then it's in, see? No problem. It's nice and solid. No rattles, no nothing. It's nice and solidly in, in place. And now you have your left controller turned into a gun. And you can adjust your strap uh, here as needed. And like I said earlier, always put on your wrist strap like that. And then put your fingers through the knuckle strap like that. Make sure your controls are all where you want them. Now this thing is 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 made at the proper what was it I think uh, oh I forget now they, 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 there's a perfect angle for, for guns to be at 112 degrees or something I have to look it up just like yep it's it's it makes it angled at 112 degrees which makes it just right for you know firing a gun so in other words the way you're holding this in the game. It, it'll be pretty much aimed at what you shoot. Now, a lot of people are saying, hey, Brock, what's the point? You can't even see it. You can't even see the thing. Why, why, why does it matter? What, what, why have a gun when you can't even see it when you're in VR? Well, there's, a, there's several reasons. One, people watching you will have more fun seeing you aim and shoot a gun than they, they would having you aim and shoot a controller. If that's no big deal, then heck, you might not want this. But you got to admit, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> and it feels good. It gives a little bit more weight to the front because, frankly, if you ever handled any real weapons, it feels more like you're holding a gun than this does because this it doesn't feel like you're holding anything weight-wise. You've got a trigger. You've got a, a grip in your hand. But this gives you a little bit of a weight in the front. In fact, I wouldn't mind if it weighed a little bit more. At some of these gun controller covers, have a way that you can add more weight to them. What it is, is if you pull this back, you'll see it opens a slot in the side of the barrel. And if you were to place a heavy object, like some coins or a piece of lead or, or anything that would fit into that slot, would get trapped in there and it would give you more weight on the end of the gun. So it does have adjustable weight, which I think is awesome. I'm gonna put the other one together real quick just so we have a set. And then you got another gun to match this one. And we are double dealing. And now we're gonna go play some drop dead dual strike, kill us some zombies. Uh oh. <laughs> if we're lucky, the gate is a open. Here. So stay sharp, okay? Signal is coming from somewhere under your feet. Oh, there's I'll a zombie now. I'll try and pinpoint the exact location. You deal with any biters. I'll meet you back here with Big Oh, Bird. look. Another one. Even more. Ooh. Good shot. Lock and load, soda. New toy time. Can of soda. And a machine gun. Come here, machine gun. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I call that the sieve. Because those Z's are going to be full of holes. When you absolutely positively got to kill every zombie in the tomb, Except no substitutes. Hey, big guy. <laughs> Here's one. Here's one. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, we got a jump over there. There, 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 there. Ooh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, watch out. Well, this is turning into quite the death defined adventure. Nice reflexes. We make a great team, right? Monday doesn't stand a chance. Oh, no. <laughs> Get some. <laughs> oh, that's drinking soda. Oh, slow it down. <laughs> you must be the last zombie. Okay, found it. How do you feel about creepy crypts? Okay. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Woo! That was awesome. I tell you, I'm I'm sold. The, these things are cool. For all the doubters out there, if you've never tried these before, they really are a, a different experience. You can feel that you actually have a weapon when you swing it around. You you can feel it going, you know, in the different directions and stuff. So you say, well, what? It might get in the way. You know, what if they hit each other? Well, if you had real guns, they would, man. So I don't see the problem with that. These things are are the bomb. I like them, and I'm glad I got them. And I think you should get them too. <laughs> yeah, there will be links in the comments. <laughs>